Bard Micro College at Holyoke is a project aimed at helping young women with very limited means, including some single mothers, gain a college degree and a better life. Ann Teschner and Anna Rodriguez from the Holyoke Care Center discuss their facilities partnership with Bard College that makes it all possible. Everyone who comes to the care center has dropped out of school. Uh, most are involved with the welfare system and generally have fallen out of love with education. So our job is to reignite that spark, get um, young women to a place where they remember and recognize how smart they really are. And because they're uh, young women living in poverty and struggling with those challenges, we're really committed to moving them out of um, the welfare system and into uh, sustainable jobs. Providing an education for young women who've dropped out, who've had whatever situations they may have been, have kids in a lot of cases, hard enough, but now you're teamed up with, and this is what amazes me, and have created what's called Bard Micro College Holyoke. Bard College, a top liberal arts institution. Talk to me about how that came to be, that unity of these two institutions. I think that the Care Center comes out of the philosophy that people without means deserve the same things as people with means. And we knew that the only ticket out of uh, poverty, the only way that these young women were going to uh, become self-sufficient was through a higher education. If you're uh, raising a, a child or two, you're not gonna make it with a GED. You just aren't. So you need to go to college. We had been uh, and do work with the community colleges, but what we were seeing is that young women were not completing the degree programs. They'd get through a year or so. Uh, one of the things that um, distinguishes the care center is we provide lots of support. Right. Um, there's daycare, there's food, there's transportation, there's health care, there's counseling, pretty much whatever you need to clear the space and clear the decks so that you can be a good student. Those aren't present um, at the community colleges. So we, we struggled with that. We thought, well, one option would be to recreate the care center at these various community colleges, or we could expand the bubble, uh, the care center bubble of support, and work on um, the GED. It's now called the HiSET. Mm -hmm. So we're still doing that work. We do transition to college courses, standalone courses, um, with GCC and with BARD. Mm -hmm. And then we thought, well, let's talk to BARD and see if they'd be willing to run an associate's degree program here in the building. And much to our delight, they said yes. <laughs> Tell me about that. Is it online? Is it actual mm -hmm. physical instructors in a classroom? Is it, is it a mixture? Anna, how, how does it work? It's classroom-based. We have a classroom in the building. Uh, alongside with the girls who are trying to get their secondary education. And it has been very intentional because we want the young women who are pursuing their high school equivalency to see that the next step is college and a natural step that they were going to be there and they just can move on from studying for the high set to entering the college courses. We have a transition counselor that's doing career development with them, that's teaching them the ins and out of what a college student is all about, helping them with the financial aid, et cetera. And when we decided on the associate's degree, we researched the employers of our community, and we found out that an associate's degree is good for um, insurance companies, for higher ed, and health um, um, professions as well. You've had some recognition from the White House, Michelle Obama, am I yes, correct? That is Tell right. us about that. We have actually received two awards from the White House. One uh, was in 2011. It was the um, uh, President's Committee on Arts and Humanities mm -hmm. Youth Program Award, which is the highest award given to programs of our kind in the country. There were 12 that were awarded that year out of uh, 500 that were nominated. So this was great, great news for the Care Center and wonderful recognition for Holyoke. And a few years, uh, maybe two years ago, the Clemente course, which is the college course uh, that we run with BARD, was awarded uh, the National H uh, Humanities Award. Uh, I think that same year, Toni Morrison won it as well. So a pretty good company. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Ana Rodriguez, Ana Teschner, thanks for what you're doing for the young women at the Care Center. Thanks for coming in and telling us about it. Oh, thank, thank you. you.